boom so what is up everybody ads2101 here and welcome to another episode of azario's taste test now i don't do these often because there aren't too many things that interest me when it comes to doing food reviews but something caught my attention and in this episode we're going to be trying something that i have not tried because they came out with a new flavor and that just intrigued the hell out of me so what i have here you can't see it that good because i got the background on but it is the coca-cola year 3000 limited edition flavor taste from the future created with ai this is a coca-cola drink that was promoted to have been created with artificial intelligence excuse me co-created with artificial intelligence and the one i have is zero sugar as you see in well i have a bottle not a can but it's zero sugar zero calories um just zero everything across the board uh got carbonated water caramel color natural flavors phosphoric acid sodium benzenite to protect taste all the other stuff aspartame citrate sodium citrate aspartame caffeine and sucralose whatever the fuck that shit is so um really the only ingredients that have added anything in is uh it's it has 90 milligrams of sodium so it is a uh, salty and um it contains 57 milligrams of caffeine so for the people that cared about that stuff uh yeah but it's, it says it's futuristic flavor futuristic flavored so we finna open this up go and give it a taste and uh see exactly what's going on with uh coca-cola these days you know you gotta be careful because this damn thing will spray everywhere yep there it is can't smell it there we go almost got like a smutty like, like a, a funny it, it smells like cola it has like a almost like a citrusy undertone to it let's go and give it a taste Okay, let me be honest here. I do not drink Coca-Cola whatsoever. I am a smoothie drinker, drink smoothies, water, you know, that type of thing. And I don't know if it's because I got the zero sugar one, but it tastes carbonated, but it also tastes kind of flat, if that makes any sense. It's like when it first hits your tongue, there's like this rush of flavor. Yeah, you get that Coca-Cola. It's like a slight citrus undertone to it, but it's like it just falls flat right there at the end. It's like two seconds worth of flavor, and then everything else just goes. That's that's pretty much how to explain it. It's um I mean you can tell by the expression on my face, it's not anything to brag home about. I mean it's an interesting concept. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're testing uh, Coca-Cola, see how far they can get without actual people mixing the syrup and water together, but it is what it is. It's a very odd flavor. It's like Coca-Cola that's two seconds of flavor and then just like a flat aftertaste that just ain't it. And again, maybe it's because I got the zero sugar one that that sweetness that i'm expecting from a coca-cola product to be there but it's just not it's just not hitting it's just not hitting it's slightly salty and i'm pretty sure that's where the 90 milligrams of sodium come from but ooh, excuse me and there's that gas from the carbonation but it's 
I don't really like it, to be honest with you. And it's not because I don't drink Coca-Cola. It's just that the flavor of it isn't anything to ride home about. I mean, it's cool to try, but they say it's limited edition. Let's keep it limited. Ooh, yeah, because this ain't it. This is not it. This is one of those... It's more so of a gimmick than, it, than an actual product that I can see them really pushing for real or for like a lengthy period of time. So for however long they have this going on, I would say try it, get the sugar, get the zero sugar one if you prefer to have no sugar. Maybe the one with sugar tastes better, Um, but this ain't it. It's not it. So I normally give a thumbs up a middle thumb or a thumbs down for me this is going to be a thumbs down it's, it's like it's like a coca-cola experiment it's just not there you know maybe if you mix it with a little bit of lemon maybe it'll go somewhere but it's just not it so that's my review of the coca-cola year 3000 flavor um created with artificial intelligence and if they created this with artificial intelligence, um, yeah, like you might want to keep real humans in your factories. This ain't it. <laughs> so that's my review of Coca Cola Year 3000 futuristic flavor. Um, if you see it in your stores, try it. But until next time, remember be humble in victory, be gracious in defeat, but show no mercy to Coca Cola. Peace.